Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad that y'all are here with me. Um, again, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, thank you for subscribing, you know, likes, keep the questions coming. Uh, you see I respond to every question. Um, what we're gonna be working on today, we're gonna work on some Black Panther Customs. Uh, we got these Jordan 1 mids. They're in good condition, you know. Uh, I am gonna see if I can remove that creasing uh, there and they just need to be cleaned on the bottom. I'm gonna clean the whole shoe, but uh, Work on these for a first-time client uh, So to let y'all know I used to do stand-up comedy and if you want to see some jokes go to uh, Soul on souls on TikTok With no spaces no hyphens no underscore nothing just soul on souls. It's my TikTok uh, And I do jokes on there pretty much uh, but a guy I used to do, I did a couple shows with, these are his shoes. Uh, so, uh, yo, so I'm gonna clean them up, uh, try to remove this creasing, and uh, then I'm gonna get back on camera and show y'all some steps. All right. What's up, y'all? I'm back. So, you can see just a, some slight wrinkling there, but it's not affecting the toe box. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a wrinkle on here, but it's not a dip in the material. So I can deal with that. I can increase my decreasing of, you know, toe boxes. So I can get better at that. But, you know, that's this this is very good for me. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I got a new phone. I got the 12 Pro Max. So this looks like a better recording uh, than I normally have. But anyway, all right, let's get to it. So what we're going to do next. I am not going to tape off. I'm going to print some stencils on this machine here. Silhouette portrait. I got a video on how to print stencils uh, and where to go and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go over that again on this video, but I'm going to print some stencils out. I'll be right back with y'all. Okay. So we got our um stencils that we're gonna cut all i did was go to the internet you can search black panther and you can choose any one of these <clears throat> copy and paste it to your uh i have a silhouette machine right there so um copy and paste it make sure you use the sizing references if this is your first time or you know you're i still use it like these are an inch apart. So I'll count over, like I'll put it up. Let me show y'all. So I'll put the shoe down. I'll put the shoe down just like this. And I'll count my squares like, okay, three over, three down. That'll, that'll be a perfect fit for the shoe. And then I'll measure this out, three over, three down, you know? So I know how big to make my stencils. All right. so. As far as the uh, vinyl that I use, Oracal 651, that's a pretty standard one. A lot of people use it. And then you just, uh, uh, it'll stick to this uh, cutting mat. I'm going to put it on there for real, but just to show y'all. You feed it into that machine, it'll print your stencils out. And that's as easy as that. And then once you print them out, Stick your stencils on the shoe, and then you spray paint over them. That's all you do, man. It's not it's not too hard. It takes some learning, some getting used to, but that's it. So I'm gonna check back with y'all in just a second. All right, so <clears throat> let me check back in with y'all. I forgot to check in with y'all. So I got my stencils on the shoe. Pretty much what I'm doing, I'm just spray airbrushing the paint around the stencil. When you lift the stencil up, it'll have like a shadow effect to it. So I've got T'Challa, I think his name was T'Challa. I got his face right there. The letters, I'm just airbrushing into the letters, that's it. And I'm using the the blue here just to kind of fade into it. So uh, here's a better example. I had purple laid down, then I hit the blue in the middle. It's gonna say Wakanda forever on the toe box. And then I got Black Panther. And again, I'm just, I just lay the letters down 
and you just airbrush around the letters and when you peel the letters off it's going to have a, a shadow effect so i'm gonna keep going and then uh i'm almost finished so i'm gonna lace them up and then take some photos so y'all can see so there was something i forgot to mention i'm gonna use this uh reusable stencil you can get this from uh you can just type in reusable stencils on etsy or you can google it but what this is this is a stencil that you don't have to print off that you can just keep and it's made of a thick a slightly thicker material than a regular like it's thicker than paper and you can reuse it like you just all you do is spray into those little holes very lightly and it's going to create a gradient effect or like a uh astro astro what's those things asteroids asteroids like a space theme or something like that you just put it on the shoe spray spray and you just move it and spray it as you want it so it's not too difficult these are a must if you're customizing shoes when you think that people are drawing stuff uh, some people can draw some people use this they use things like this for their flames or you know things like that so I'm, I'm i'm gonna see if i can find some on the internet and link them in the description so you guys can see it but this is exactly what uh people use when they have like rocks or you know meteors or things like that it's something it's called a reusable stencil so definitely pick this up if you can something like this get as many as you can for the flames because when you're customizing shoes you're going to do flames rocks you're going to be doing like space themes and all kind of stuff like that so these are a must